right, so this is the plan. Uh, as you can see, I have the totes stacked one on top of the other. And I have my vent uh, right here, which is coming out of the cap of the bottom one. The problem is it's, it's leaking a little bit of water, so it's not airtight. I probably could silicone it or thread tape it to work, but it's not the optimum system because it only shows what water, well, let me, let me rephrase that. I want to see how much water is in the whole system. So I'm going to make a longer pipe tube down here clear to show me. And then I'm going to cap that top off with a solid IBC cap. So therefore the only vent will be what I'm going to do here to the bottom. So that's a solid cap, you know, with the, uh, the gasket in it so I can seal up the bottom one totally. And then uh, I'm going to place a vent here and connect a long tube to the top above the water line of the top tube or the top tote. That should allow me to see how much water is in this at any given time. And also, of course, allow it to vent so I'm able to fill both totes up simultaneously without any problems with air trappage or anything like that. So that's the idea, let's get to it. All right, so this is the uh, first part of the kit. This is fitting that's gonna go inside of the tank, be pulled through, tightened down, uh, airtight, so no water will leak out of this, and then we're gonna thread into it this side to go up. So that's how it's gonna go together. So this is Shannon with jailbreakertracker.com. I'm here to talk. Hey guys, this is Shannon with jailbreakertracker.com. I'm gonna show you how to install our IBC tote kit for the level. And it also is a vent for stacking two totes on top of each other. So the first part of the uh, system is you're gonna need a solid cap because you don't, you don't want any water coming through the top of the bottom tote. So that has to go on the bottom tote. On this tote, we're gonna prepare the surface because it's sprayed with bed liner and the surface is rough. So we want a nice good seal with the fitting. So I'm going to grind off a little bit of the uh, bed liner to provide a nice flat surface for the uh, fitting to seal uh, onto the uh, IBC tote. All right, so that's the first step. We got our uh, nice flat surface for the seals of this to grab onto. We're going to uh, also put a little bit of uh, plumber's grease onto the fittings and snug them down to get a nice watertight seal. All right, so I'm gonna take a uh, one and one eighths drill bit, uh, hole saw, and I'm gonna drill right about here. You want this hole to line up with the outlet of your I IBC tote, because you're gonna have to fish this way to get the fitting in. So make sure that you're approximately in this location in your toe. All right, so now we got our, got our hole there in our tote. And we're gonna fish the fitting through. Just gonna add a little bit of uh, silicone grease onto the, uh, the rubber part of the, uh, fitting just for a little extra sealing power probably help everything stay pliable longer so this thing has a lip on it so I make sure I put the lip down where it rides in this groove right here push that down nice and firm see that and then we'll a little bit of grease around the gasket here. Then we're gonna fish it through. All right, so this is the idea. So I put a piece of tape on the back here to stop the fitting from just sliding right off my little wire fish. But I put a couple of uh, lengths of this fiberglass fishing um, rod together. When I say fishing, I do mean wire fishing, not, not fishing fishing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread this 
wire fish all the way to the other side and out that hole that I created with the uh, saw, pole saw. And then I'm gonna carefully and slowly pull the fitting through. So of course it's gonna be a little tricky to get this through the hole over there. But if you look at it just at the right angle, you should be able to do that. So now we have that on this side. Carefully, carefully, carefully. We are going to pull the fitting to this side. Probably could have made this hole a little bigger, but I'd rather it go smaller and make it bigger than too big. Just like that. We have a fitting stuck out of our IBC tub. So same thing as before, take a little bit of your uh, silicone and grease up your fittings for a nice good seal there. Put it on and we're gonna tighten it down. Then you can get some vice grips or something that won't mar the threads. I mean, we're gonna use the inner threads anyway, so the outer threads aren't too important, but just for the sake of being professional, you don't wanna mar the threads too much, but do something to clamp this part while you tighten this part nice and firm. <coughs> Excuse me, nice and firm to create a good seal. been a drought here for a while in the Ozarks and right as I'm working on this it doesn't know if it wants to rain or not I keep getting a sprinkle here a sprinkle there all right we'll see how it goes if you guys don't mind go ahead and like and subscribe this video if it's helping you out showing you something you didn't think about before or whatever it's a way you can Kind of give me feedback and say thanks along with using any links that i put in there to buy products but I, I don't know if anybody's ever done it quite like i'm about to do it here but uh i think this is going to be a game changer as far as the uh, ibc tote water game goes so anyway here we go it should be a nice watertight fitting so we're going to tap into this and we're going upwards all right, so I'm gonna take this, uh, you could use Schedule 40. I just happen to have some old Schedule 80 sitting around. That's the right uh, piece that I need here. So I'm going to uh, re-thread this. Put some, I mean, we put new tape on here, put a little bit of uh, PVC sealant. It's usually a good idea to do both when you're going from uh, metal to PVC, to use both the tape and the uh, sealant. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on here, some fresh tape, and then uh, I'm gonna glue this fitting on, and then this is where my clear PVC pipe is gonna go into all the way up. I highly recommend uh, Fusion for doing your fittings, your PVC joints. It works great. You don't have to use the primer and the uh, cement. You can just use one product and uh, I haven't had any issues with it and I've been using it all over the place. I still wanna give it the obligatory twist though. So 
We're gonna put that in here and then up she goes. All right, the next step is the uh, clear tubing. We're gonna go ahead and slide that out. And this is, I think, uh, eight feet. Eight feet of tubing here. And it's gonna get put right in there. And it's gonna go all the way up there way above the uh, top level of the, the top tote. That's where you want it to be. It doesn't have to be really high over it, but hey, it doesn't hurt. I would definitely suggest you do the, keep the tubing out of the sun. This tubing, this clear tubing is not as resilient as the regular PVC, white PVC because it doesn't have the same UV protection I, from what I understand. So you do wanna be a little cautious. So if you can help it, try to keep this clear tubing out of the sun, that would also cut down on any algae growth in it. Make sure you have a zip tie with you when you do this because you don't wanna have this tube unsupported while you're uh, getting it together here. So I'm just gonna zip tie right here, run a few zip ties up and probably come up with a better system later of securing the tube to the, uh, the structure here. But I think for now, this is sufficient. A few zip ties going up and uh, that'll keep everything in place for now. Probably should have did this part already, but I'm going to now remove the uh, old vent system, put the waterproof or airtight cap in there in that gap and remove where that white pipe is that's coming out so this will be sealed at the top and the only vent will be back there at the bottom all right at this point we got everything connected i got a hose going up to the top i'm going to go turn on the water from my neighbor's well who's kind enough to let me get his water out of there i helped him set up the pump he said anytime you need water you just come over and get it i said oh okay my well doesn't put out much. This guy right here, right now it's too dry. My pond over there is just dried up. So but normally this, this guy will put out a little bit, so it'll kind of keep it topped off, so to speak, um, if I don't use too much water. But the moment of truth will happen when the water starts getting in here. We're gonna check this connection, make sure it's not leaking and, and it should start showing the water level all the way to the top. So, and of course, allowing it to vent. So let's see what happens. You can see the pipe is matching exactly where the water level is in the tank. See that? allowing both tanks to fill up on top of each other and there's no water leaking out of the cap. 
So they always work together as one tank. And you get the added benefit of the pressure once it's full, uh, feeding that spout. guys so here it is there's the water level of the tank and of course it's venting and you can see it rising kind of in real time here but of course it's venting as it's as it's uh, going up there and once it reaches all the way to the top then uh, we'll give it a, a nice stop here. Anyway, I hope this video helped you figure out another way of doing your uh, IBC totes. So this one eventually is gonna get uh, sprayed to stop algae growth to match this one. And then of course, I'll still be able to see the levels. I tried to make it to where I can see the level by leaving just a little part of the uh, let me show you guys. By leaving just a little part of the, the tote unpainted, the problem is algae grows here and it obscures the, uh, the level. It's really hard to see it. So I don't think anything's gonna beat the, uh, the system that's in place right now. So anyway, I'm signing out. This is Shannon with jailbreakyourtractor.com. Come take a look, check us out.